Okay. Okay. Uh, Wonder if you can see how many. Hi, uh, this is a deep. Uh, it is the uh, 25th of June, 2022. Just this is impromptu without notification. I had already forgotten that uh, I had given my word to save that uh, we'd have uh, a YouTube um, or Zoom meeting. And therefore, just a few minutes ago, I published this um, YouTube uh, announcement. And we are here right now. And the uh, invitation to his friends, they are Discord people. They are like a different tribe. They, their norms and their rules and their government is different over there. And some of them are shy to be here right now. In fact, on Zoom, uh, we have how many people right now? One, two, three, four, five people. But you only see right now two people because the others, when they don't show their faces, video is not on, they are not uh, appearing on YouTube. But on Zoom, I see their names. Okay, Safe, uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? You invited me once or twice uh, to Discord. I did not like the Discord application because it seems too many complications, too many gadgets right. here and there, buttons. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Oh, so about, about myself. So, yeah, I'm originally from Egypt. I, you know, did the ritual prayers, Siam, all that Sunni stuff until I start reading the Quran in English. Uh, and then some verses would like say like, you know, the Quran is fully detailed, uh, judged by what God sent down and all that stuff. And uh, that's when I started thinking. And uh, I looked you, I looked like, okay, Quran alone, answer, whatever. And you popped up on YouTube. So you were like my first, uh, uh, you know. When was it? Uh, I you were I... in the Saudi Arabia airport? I think it was maybe... Oh, yeah. yeah. It was Abu Dhabi before. airport stuff. But when did you first time uh, you came across my videos? I was 20. So that was maybe eight years ago. Uh, okay. Seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So from there, I, I read your uh, trans translation, which uh, it opened my eyes to like how you tra translate uh, Muslims as peacemakers. I thought that was very clever. I was like, huh, because I see how you did that with the root words. Um, I agreed to it, but then uh, kind of have like my own definition to, um, I just say anyone who would like at peace with God, right? That's what Muslims mean. Uh, Aslam al Rabbil Alameen, I'm at peace with God. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, like, uh, and then, yeah, from there I started to do my own thing with the Quran and I met like uh, Hamza Abdul Malik, uh, I also followed like Quran centric Joe. Uh, and I tried to like listen to everyone and take like the best interpretation and not rush the details and stuff like that. I also did the read the book 19, uh, God's Miracle. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 I did. Um, That's a, this one. A, those, if you are curious, this is also yeah. is a PDF for free available. Uh, my books, most of my books are available at academia.edu let me uh, show you that one while you are talking i will show yeah, my academia link, page so some people who are interested could uh, you know look into it uh, and uh yeah so i read that book and i'm like, uh, wow, this is like too much math <laughs> i need to work on my uh you know spirit and behavior mm -hmm. first then like understand what is salah and what is zakah and what is hajj all that you know the basic stuff because we're still like we don't know what it is, right? Like, I mean, we don't, we do know, but everyone has their own understanding, right? Uh, different perspective, I would say. Um, yeah, so, um, how, do, how did we meet on this court? Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Someone invited me. You invited me. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think it was me. I think it was someone else. Uh, don't know if I can say his name here, but um yeah those, that, that's, okay that's, we are getting started soon we have ha haru here creed of abraham ahmadi ahmed taiba 
and uh, I would like them uh, to also talk, but they will be ghosts because people <laughs> on YouTube, they will not see them. They will hear voices, which is not a good thing when you are watching on YouTube. Where is this voice coming from? Who is this? And um, But if you could do people here, uh, you don't want to show your beautiful, handsome faces. I know, I understand. But you can do, well, <laughs> you may not want to. Mm, that's fine. But uh, if you are not shy, you can uh, do like a safe that uh, blur your room or put as if you are right. an astronaut space, those kind of things. Um, okay. Um, let me uh, show you my academia page so that people can go download the books for free. Um, share screen. Uh huh. Okay, do you see it safe? Can you give me feedback? Yeah, yeah, I see your screen. Okay. Um, and also the menu on the side, uh, when we see the zoom, you can reduce that one by clicking the top one thing. And uh, okay, great. Yeah, now could you here, share the link on the... Oh, okay, uh, here you see, um, this is a pima.academia.edu slash edpuxel. In fact, if you search my name on the internet on Google, this uh, academia page, I believe, come in the first page of the search. And here I have these books, 10 questions for atheist, 19, God's signature in nature and scripture, and Quran and reformist translation, peacemakers got uh, guide to warmongers. This is my debate with Robert Spencer, David Horowitz, Bill Warner, Ali Sina. <laughs> David Horowitz was the one who is kind of uh, sponsoring. Uh, Robert Spencer wrote uh, a book, poisonous book, again, his Prophet Muhammad became best selling uh, book on uh, Amazon. But we had a lengthy, I had a lengthy debate with Robert Spencer. Bill Warner and Ali Sina, these are poisonous guys against Islam and all Muslims. Okay, uh, I understand their criticism of Muslims or Sunni and Shiite religions, but they were using this by promoting wars, invasions, killing of Muslims. They are warmongers, therefore I really that. And they are also using all the Sunni arguments, hadith, to... Um, criticize Prophet Muhammad and the Quran. They are not honest. And uh, therefore half of the argument you see as if I am talking to a Sunni, they are trying to tell me Quran is not clear enough without Hadith. They want to push Hadith to me. I said, I don't believe this. And you should, you are, if you are, have little mind, you will not also believe this. You know, there are full of lies and garbage that you don't believe many of them. But since it is convenient for you, you will find straw men over there. You will punch them, hadith and sunnah, or the distortions in tafsirs. And then you will punch those straw men and declare cheap victories. I said, I will not take this. I will not accept this uh, uh, fraud. And then uh, ultimately, they ended up discussing Quran based on the Quran, and they lost the argument. It's a beautiful book. Um, I have it here, and uh, you can also. And if you are not very f comfortable with the PDF, they are also available. At oh, Amazon. no, I love PDFs. Those are like, no, no. Um, okay. Less space in real life. Fun. Yes. Uh, yeah. Critical think is for Islamic reform. We, we had multiple conferences at, um, this was uh, where? This was at uh, in Atlanta. Uh, one of the uh, law schools there. I forgot even the name of the law school. Goodness right. sake. <laughs> that's uh, huh? No, that's famous, okay. You forgot. Yeah, um, famous. Uh, anyway, in that law school, we had a beautiful conference, international conference. And these are the papers uh, submitted there. We had also two conferences at Oxford University, one at Princeton University. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have time or patience to publish the papers uh, submitted in those conferences. But inshallah in August, uh, in the end of the August, uh, August 21, 
in 19 and 21. We have a conference at uh, Oxford University in Britain. Uh, it is organized by OIBI, and they have also a website, oibi.org.uk. It is, means Oxford Institute for British of Islam. They are tired of Arabic Islam and uh, <laughs> Pakistani Islam. And uh, they invited me there. I may share you uh, with you uh, the invitation for that one. Okay. And then 19 questions for Christian clergy. Uh, Quran reformist translation, another one. Uh, that means I have multiple times I published. Uh, these are some Turkish things. This is my biography, autobiography. I will be publishing God willing in English too. And uh, well, we have some other. Okay, well, what is the rest? Okay, 19 Prophecies, a documentary film. film. I check this one. This one, this one, some pictures there, some videos. But this one is the one really well organized, the synopsis for a documentary. And I'm looking for a director, a good director, so that we'll appreciate this. It will be a series of uh, documentaries, basically nine, it could be 12, but uh, it is incredible, this one. Uh, I may share with you later. Okay. Uh, and uh, what else? I want to share with you this one too. Hold on. Oh gosh. 19.org. There are many articles there. Yeah, uh, no, we're familiar with that. I, I mean, left side the menu, and here the title of articles, all the articles. Therefore, if you put keyword here, search not the website, maybe the articles with one keyword, for example. Let's say jury. Uh, ju why why it is? Oh, jury. You see, jury reaches the verdict. We are the guilty. And you click on it, you will see this article, for example, or say evolution. But uh, it is not the best way of searching the thing. Um, it is uh, here are the topical way I put them here and uh, on Christianity, debate, and, uh, and family, law, and politics, paranormal philosophy, uh, Quran reformist translation, rainbow means different topics. Anyway, there are uh, some also a right, right. few articles by five by friends. That's it. I want to finish it, and this is a uh, Quranics. Uh, we have English translations. Oh, and, that's you also? Oh, I, I recently started using that. Yeah, also. Quranics is, uh, my friend did it for me, but uh, we need to improve it. Recently, there are some improvement. Do you like this one? Yeah, yeah, I use it with Quran. Uh, what do you do here? For example, here, for example, when you click on one word, it can bring all the frequency of that word, all the roots right. in any, every word. Uh, but we need to put our translation here instead of this one. I don't know where it came. And here also you can go to Arabic dictionaries. And there are two bunch of dictionaries. And then the same word, it brings the page of that word, how it is used. Wow. It is fantastic, very useful. And go back to where it was. Okay? Here okay. it is. It tells you how many times the word is mentioned. And then all the verses where the word is highlighted. Mm -hmm. Any word, you click on it, and also you can go see it. You see Lane's lexicon, let's see. Yeah. Uh, why it took so long? Uh oh, my internet's slowing down. Okay, this is Lane's lexicon, for example. Hamd, uh, how many times it was mentioned in the Quran? Total, in fact, this one, in fact, 18 times. Uh, no, no, hold on. 38 times as Hamd. Therefore, this is not very accurate in terms of singular form or plural form, but it is. Uh, it lists all of them. Okay, I am done with here. Let's see your faces, people. Uh oh, no faces. Okay, uh, go ahead. Any questions? Any uh, any ideas that you want to talk? This is uh, one hour I want to spend here with you guys. Maybe okay, every so is this going to be a Q and A or could I thought you Q and A or anything you want to share with me, certain piece of information or your experiences? 
Recently in Turkey, I started, let me just show you that one too, in case you know what I am doing right now. Um, okay, are you there? Do you see the screen or no, not yet? Not yet, not yet. Okay, here is uh, what I am doing here at my, uh, this is uh, the Turkish uh, Twitter address. Um, English one, I'm not very active recently. I have also this one there, okay? And um, recently this guy died, he is a religious order. His whole job to make people to be a slave of him is worse than Pharaoh because he tells people he's a cult, is a Sunni cult, Naqshbandi. They tell people, you should submit yourself to the sheikh uh, like a dead person. Exactly, this is what is their number one teaching. One is don't reason. The religion is not the re uh, religion of reason. It is the religion of narration, means hadiths and stories. Ibn Falan, Abu Falan. And yep. second, you have to submit yourself completely like a dead person submits itself to the washer, washing the body. They wash the dead body. I don't know what is the meaning of that too. But this exactly, and he has enslaved millions of people in Turkey. Basically, they eat the brains of the kids They, they in their uh, madrasas, in their dormitories and stuff. Unbelievable, the whole total average IQ of Turkish people went down since they got very stronger because of the Erdogan, my former friend, who is right now dictator of Turkey. He uses religion, religion and nationalism, two hormones injects to people. He waves the flag and waves the holy book and then he steals the money. Basically, he builds for himself the biggest mansion in Turkey, the biggest palace in the world, not in Turkey, the world. And he's the biggest thief. His uh, children and son-in-laws and croonies, billions of Turkish uh, dollars from the Turkish uh, uh, taxpayers, uh, they siphon into their uh, companies. Anyway, this is also their uh, magician, like Pharaoh, you remember, had a magician. And yeah. here it is. this is my tweet. Just recently, uh, two day, a few days ago, I published. These are uh, some of the new ones. Here I compare Sunni religion, the Sunni religion with ISIS. In all these items, topics, they contradict the Quran. The Quran says no. For example, is there stoning to death? No, Quran. They say yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, is there kind of slavery? like sex slavery, you, Quran says no, they say yes. And uh, can you kill the captive of wars? Quran says no, they, they can kill. And do our apostates are killed? Quran says no, they say yes. Uh, what is your stance on circumcision? Circumcision, uh, let me talk. Okay, I want to finish it. And the only place that uh, ISIS in one item is closer to the Quran. They don't worship uh, graves, uh, saints, and sheikhs. <laughs> in that, but in all other, they are ISIS. Therefore, when they get power, they become like this. Uh, anyway, and I am exposing there. There and uh, anyone wants to know Turkish, please go and uh, read and share. Recently, they aha. This is uh, someone did this for me. I am the Superman. They are zombies. These, uh, <laughs> honestly, they, they turn people to zombies. Yeah, A brilliant yeah, yeah. person can go to that things, comes out after uh, one or two years as a stupid person. The only thing they care about, the hair, growing hair on their faces. And then sometimes they put this uh, turban on their head and also put women in black sacks. Burying. That's all. This is 99% of this order. All they do. Yeah, it and reminds me of that verse. Uh, they don't hear, think, I mean, what? Uh, they're deaf, this is dumb, and blind. Supported by state because states want to have millions of people stupid following the orders of one another stupid person whose whole job is to get a comfortable life, money. And this is the 
magicians of Turkey. This is the pharaoh in Turkey. Honestly, pharaoh. He is dictator. He yeah, yeah, no, prisons exactly. With many people. Uh, he, there is no, right now, against me, this guy has more than 30 lawsuits in all of them next to his name. Edip Yüksel is the suspect. And then he called next to his name, no, perpetrator. Next to his name says Mağdur. I, I shared it with copy of this. Mağdur means victim. Because I criticize him, his lies and his theft, his oppression, his killing. Unbelievable. Okay, I am going to finish up this one. Uh, it's interesting, though, because uh, there is a verse in the Quran that says that do not follow those who ask you for money. Absolutely, but and people they like just it. the people follow people. Yeah, I'm like here it is. I show money in others. I don't know why. Early during time of Prophet Muhammad, there is only Quran. In fact, yeah. even during uh, four caliphs, but later, Hadith was fabricated. A centuries later, right? Uh, comes uh, 230 right. years, and then ulama. Uh, hadith and also alims, mushtahids, and then mezahibs after the big alims, they're under their name for, and then you have mezahibs. This becomes partners with God, with the Quran. Yeah, and they then, wrote books and they say it's from God when it's not. Yeah, God. and then tasawuf, tasawuf means Sufi, it is another thing. And then tariqat, these are the religious orders, basically far away from the Quran, between the Quran and this. There are basically volumes and volumes, library full of nonsense. They fabricated. These are, uh, for example, this is one of the most uh, popular sheikh in Turkey. He is the murid of the big one who died. He is the spokesperson of this one. He is a very good talker. He talks very well, like Zeki Naik. <laughs> and uh, but. He is uh, such a crook. He recently sold uh, <clears throat> uh, the uh, Prophet Muhammad's shoes. From carton, he would cut the carton, cartons, you know, like paper, and then say, this is Salih Sharif, the holy shoe of Prophet Muhammad. And he would sell in thousands. The price of it in Turkish money is huge, like $30, that piece of junk. And they say, this will cure you. This will bring good luck for you. And he sell the <clears throat> shroud, you know, shroud, you know, the dead body, the fabric rolled wrapped around dead body, dead people. Mm. He's, he's selling them that this will protect you from torture of grave. That is this guy. And then here is, he is in the beach like this. And this is his wife. <laughs> Do you see it? Okay, I want to stop it here. And these are some of uh, these uh, mushriks. They are the contemporary Abu Jahils. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. like you also mentioned Pharaoh. I, I, there was a verse where it says, like, did you believe when I did not not allow you to believe? I thought that was very arrogant. Um, yep. Like, okay. I'm going to stop here. Anyone wants to talk? Yeah. Any questions? People are writing. No one is talking. Everyone is in different world as if. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, Navid he wants to say something. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Ask to unmute. So... Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Peace. Can you hear me? Can, yes, can I turn yes. on my camera or no? Oh, yeah. If you don't have the, let's see. How do we do that? Allow, no, allow multiple turn. Oh, I think you can turn on your camera. Um, yeah. It doesn't let me. It says the video, it says the host has stopped it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, participants. Uh, you cannot show yourself. That's interesting. Oh, oh, start video. Okay, I'm sorry. I I had uh, banned you from that one without knowing. Okay, welcome, Navid. How you doing, Adib? Good. Nice to see you. 
I see you too. Uh, my question is about code 19. How can we, what's the current status of code 19 in the world, especially the Turkish population and how, how are you spreading it? How can we get it more spread to the world? There are, there are some very good uh, new studies done and I'm not able to verify some diligently, due diligence, but they passed the first uh, uh, pre uh, preliminary smell test because some fail and because uh, some people do not have any idea about statistics. They put numbers text, uh, together, jungle it, anecdotal, not connected, not a system. But some people have some very interesting observations they come up with. And um, I am uh, collecting some of them. And later, I, when I have peace of mind, God willing, go over them. But there are some very interesting studies done. And also, the message is going uh, very daily, every day. There are uh, more people uh, not connected, not accepting this message. And uh, recently, in this uh, tweet, I announced, I asked people, anyone who had been in uh, these religious orders and lived hell and were able to escape from the hell, please share with us your experience. And I gave them an email address. The deadline is until 1st of July, 2022, few more days. But just in early hours, I received about 20. Right now I have more than 30 stories, very incredible. It is, uh, it is both very tragic stories, how they lived in a, a absolute total oppression and uh, abuse, uh, incredible, many, many ways. These orders are full of abuse. Some of them have experienced sexual abuse, some beating violence, uh, a lot of oppression, and sometimes by their families. And these people were able to break the rank and escape from that hell, uh, courageous people. And I will be receiving more, much more. And in the past, I had this book, hold on. Do you see? Hello. Uh, go a little bit up. A little Listen, bit up. Hold on. Go up, hold go up. On, hold, on, hold on, hold on. I pin myself so that I will be able to. There you go. Yeah. Um, this is, uh, uh, I have been receiving thousands of mails from around the world. And uh, therefore, and many people from different backgrounds, some are Hindu, some atheists, some Sunni, some Shiites, some uh, agnostic, atheists, all over. Uh, and uh, they, when they see the miracle or the message of the Quran, they change. This is about 114 of them, uh, how they transformed. And a beautiful letter from very diverse background, very different lessons we learn from people's lives, how they uh, basically able to free themselves. It is about letter of freedom from bondage of shirk, from exploitation of the religious people or politicians. And therefore this is in Turkish published, but recently what I'm getting specifically those who were ended up in cults. Uh, I say order religious orders, I really mean cults. Right now in Turkey, there are major cults are supported by state. They have millions of followers, these cults. And the state, which is corrupt state, it is a deep state in Turkey. And in order to do, continue their corruption, their theft, and their oppression in Turkey, they need this group of people they can utilize as just for votes, as a support. Anytime they can uh put them on the streets and uh, therefore it is incredible imagine a state within state um tries their best to reduce people's iq to condemn them to ignorance and this call tells people do not send your daughters to schools girls should not study they their whole job is to become mothers to obey their husbands. They openly say this. Uh, 
anyway, but uh, right now there are a lot of uh, activities in Indonesia, in some uh, countries, more activities, sometimes uh, less. For example, in the past several years ago, suddenly I see a lot of activities in terms of enlightenment, uh, saving themselves from these uh, shirk, these uh, horrible teachings in uh, Kazakhstan, but there is some setback, but they are continuing, but not as accelerating as before. But right now there is a lot of uh, movement in Indonesia. Uh, uh, more than two dozen articles, uh, journal articles were published on Quran alone message. And most of them focusing on Quran and reformist translation. And I don't know Indonesian language, but through academia and Google, it kind of, uh, I receive notification when journal articles give reference to my name or my books. And then I was surprised. I, I was wondering what are they writing? And where I copied and put on Google Translate, I found that almost all, all of them were positive. Therefore, I don't know anyone. I had only one person, Getut Adi Soma, and for years I did not even contact him. And Indonesia is one of the countries, unfortunately, I don't have many contacts. All around the world, I have thousands, but there it's a black hole for me. But surprisingly, you see that I don't have personal connection, but people receive the message through internet. Therefore, I want you to be very positive within very short time, within few years. You know, in history is very short time, it's blink of eye. There is a major transformation I am expecting from all so-called Muslim world and Western world. I think the world ultimately will go towards much better future. And we see it, uh, for example, uh, the borders of nationalism is right now um, becoming, is fading like in Europe about uh, how many years ago, 70 years ago, they were killing each other, destroying each other's cities, correct? Killing each other's children, drinking each other's blood. French, France, Germany, Britain, and all other uh, nations nearby Poland. Now they are eliminated the borders, they became European Union. And this will go further. And I think we are going towards one world. And of course, uh, we'll have struggles ahead of us because uh, there will be uh, some groups want to dominate this. But I think uh, because of the diversity of the world, it will not be easy. Therefore, we may have much better free world, much more democratic, more egalitarian world ahead of us. I am positive about that, especially through internet. Okay. Um, Save. Uh, stop me because when I <laughs> no no you're good stop you're good. Hours. Just no, stop. Like, me. Cut no. me. Say it. Stop. That's okay. okay. Because, Edith, uh, stop. <laughs> yeah. You're good. No. So is, any any other questions? Because I might have one or two. Ready? No. All right. Cool. So, uh, you mentioned the uh, you know how uh, ISIS and the Sunnis are kind of similar, right? In many things. Uh, yeah. So like, uh, what is your take on, uh, you know, circumcision? Because I got, you know, it was uh, brought, brought up uh, to me before. They say it's the creed of Ibrahim and they get that from the Bible. Now, I don't really take a Bible as a source of uh, guidance or any information. So I was wondering, what's your take on that? Is it, necessary to be a Muslim or a Mu'min? No, I, I don't think so. Uh, if, if it was needed, the Quran would tell us uh, what to do. Exactly, and, uh, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Circumcision is not... Uh, not and I, I think it is an innovation. I think it is a distortion in the Bible. Uh, and uh, the, the thing that was uh, the word the wolf means in the Quran. In fact, the same word is used in Arabic for the uh, circumcision, khitan, and the wolf means something that skin on top of uh, whatever it is. Um, 
uh, they say our heart is circumcised, kind of like uh, they use the word in metaphor. Therefore, it is um, to circumcise is means uh, kind of like uh, to remove the skin or the uh, barrier between you barrier. and uh, things. The metaphor is using that. The Quran refers to that metaphor. Now, when I look at the Bible, most likely Abraham wanted them to remove the, the, the thing and then maybe to say um, their, uh, their um, maybe it is something to do about chastity in terms of um, kind of male chastity. But yeah, with time, I think it became a ritual distortion. For example, one I have one good example of distortion, how it is made. The word uh, rajim in the Quran, exactly. it means excommunication. But in Hadith, you will see it is stoning to death. Stoning to death. And the Quran is not using excommunication as a punishment but uh, for believers, but it is mentioned as uh, uh, Abraham's father. Yeah threatens Abraham that we will excommunicate you, we'll do regime. Absolutely. And, and we say, uh, Satan, for example. Yeah, and when Shaitan. we say, uh, billah min shaitan al regime. See? Regime is excommunicated. Exactly. But did not yeah. take stones and stone Satan. <laughs> yeah, yeah not the, the stoning shaitan, right? <laughs> it is crazy. And therefore, we see how the language of the Quran, clearly the word regime means to kick out something. From the presence, right. yeah, exile and uh, excommunicate. But uh, in Hadith book, and I do believe that in the old original of Old Testament, it was temporary or permanent or certain timely excommunication of people in from the group, children of Israel, when they committed certain uh, immoral acts or certain crimes. It was excommunication. And therefore, but with time, this excommunication turned into stoning to death. We see in Arabic language is the same done to the word. And I see parallelism. When I see this one, well, here is the word regime is excommunication. But right. look at the Sunni religion, Shiite religions. When you say regime, all they think stoning, killing people so, to death. Yeah. I mean, and therefore, I husband, said like that, so. most likely because I see a lot of parallel between Sunni scholars Shiite scholars and uh, rabbis and uh, Christian scholars, they are, their modus operandi is very similar. The way they distort similarity is so much parallelism. Therefore, I said, I don't know Hebrew, but I said, if in Hebrew, the word is rajim, like in Arabic, then it is the same done. Well, lo and behold, I look at the word is exactly rajim. In Hebrew, the same word. No because way. Because Hebrew is very close to Arabic. Yeah. Like salam, shalom, and so many Yeah, yeah, words. yeah. No, I, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Therefore, the same word regime. What is it? <laughs> I think it's saying, please unmute. Huh? Yeah, yeah. We'll unmute uh, when he's finished. So. Oh, yeah. Unmute people. Okay. Let's unmute everyone. There's no reason. We don't have too many people. We don't have a rowdy classroom so that we... I give people to unmute themselves. Oh oh my thank God. you, Nadeep. Thank you. I've been muted this whole I time. really apologize. We, I, I, I don't unmute uh, mute people normally, but I see Saif has uh, kind of a uh, little bit wants to control. Yeah. Oh. Uh, when, I, when I have invite people, but listen carefully, in my Turkish meetings, I give the uh, Zoom link to everyone. Oh, my enemies come here. Everyone who hates me, everyone who loves me. And then those who hate, they come cussing. Okay, no problem. Just relieve yourself. You can cuss me as much as you want. Uh, only one right. minute I give them. And then come to the topic. As long as you come to the topic, subject matter. Therefore, I don't mind. Go ahead. Haru. All right. So a couple of questions. Uh, we saw in your book, you did the calculations on Hamim. I was very impressed. Um, and sure. what I'm referring to, on Hamim is uh, obviously the seven chapters. You cut it in half, and the or actually the seven chapters. You add the digits for the occurrence of Ha and Mim, and you get the multiplier of the total. Is that correct? Yes. In whole table, also in each table where 
there are, they add up to 19 uh, in each subgroups. When they add up to 19, in those also the factor is equal to some of the digits. Right. So the, not only is it, so it's the whole seven table is 19. So 2147 is 19 times 113, correct? Yes. Yes. Then you cut it in half. In and you have also, uh, there are uh, four subgroups. We, it is, it's based on a system. You say in how many different configuration, the subgroups will add up multiple of 19. You find four of them, only four of them in different configuration. For example, three chapters in one of them, four chapters in another one. And then by mixing them, you find up four four of them add up to multiple of 19 and each of them, the same thing occurs, means the factor of 19, 19 times whatever that number, it equals the adding the digits where the frequency of ha and mean. And that's yeah. not a that's not a, a mathematical property. That's actually- Well, initially I suspected that, I thought it was, but I played with numbers, I changed it. And I found that, yes, it's not mathematical property, it is intentional. And then that time I went to University of Arizona, I saw a mathematics professor of mathematics in number theory area. This guy was very interested. I didn't say the Quran. I know that if I said the Quran, most likely he would have prejudice. He wouldn't even perhaps look at it. But I say, here it is the table. I have this, what do you think? I know he would be interested. And then he, he, he left everything behind. He got attacked because Perhaps he never seen something like that. He, he was very interested. He spent about 20 or 30 minutes over there. He discovered a formula in each of those tables. That formula must be satisfied. And there is a perfect formula there. Uh, very powerful. No, it's very powerful. I mean, a lot of people complain about the Hamim, right? They complain and say, how come these initials don't work in the, in the Individually, you probably know this, maybe not. No, no, individually, hamim, ha, hamim. Oh, you are right. But here is the rule. Here is the rule. In the Quran, if you have an initial as a unit, for example, sad alone, there is a unit sad. Therefore, you check all other sads in other place. Qaf, it is the smallest unit there. Therefore, you have to check. But you don't say, for example, you don't have. I ain't seen Qaf, for example, you don't have in any other place. Therefore, you check that one, I ain't seen Qaf. You don't check other seen, I ain't, because all these three together, it is the minimum unit over there, I ain't seen Qaf. And therefore, there is a system there. Based on that system, when you look at it, you see a very clear pattern. But we have problem with some letters, and I do leave it 100%. In the future, a better study, based on all these manuscripts, a comparative study will open up. And I think there is much more to be discovered. Yes, go ahead. Oh, that's, uh, uh, that's absolutely, so, so I wanted to ask you uh, if you can give us an equation, okay? So we have 29 initial chapters. What's the equation to see statistically, let's say five of them, are going to be a multiple of 19. This is something that comes up because people keep saying, oh, anyone, this is just random chance. Do you have equations for this? Well, uh, I don't have a right now, neither time, neither right now, not ready for that because uh, I, in the book, yes, in the book, I show, I have some arguments in the back of the book, objections to this one. And also in running like zebras, I detail, discuss this issue. Do you have running like zebras? Hold on. Right. Do you know this book? Yes. Yes. Okay. This one, um, I discussed this issue with. Um, I don't know whether this is working or not. Maybe my ear is not, uh, my earbud is not working. Okay. Yeah, in this one, I, I have a uh, response to this kind of objections. A very beautiful book, great arguments here. This is about those who object number 19. 
And uh, yeah, uh, maybe the only name here, I think Carl Sagan, he was not, uh, uh, how do you say, like them. He was not a very ardent objector. He was a skeptic, questions, a very, the best, uh, I think, argument I had, uh, I had with, it was with Carl Sagan. At the end, he said, of course, I might be wrong. He was very humble. And his objection was very good from an outsider's uh, perspective. They, they were very reasonable objections, questions. And, but the rest of it, some of them poisonous, like Abu Amina Bilal Phillips. Is, yeah, 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 yeah. He wrote a little book on this. He actually admitted four of them are consistently multiples, right? Um, yeah. But the question I have for you is, so, I mean, you're in a very serious position. You are the four. I don't think there's anyone on earth currently that has access and uh, public uh, exposure in regards to code 19 other than you. And that's a pretty serious, that's a pretty serious responsibility, right? Yeah, uh, did you see this one? Did you see this one? I highly recommend you to go check this one. This is, a, a, I wish that we made it English. Edip Yüksel, Halis Aydemir, Wahid. If you write Edip Yüksel, Wahid, you write with V or W, doesn't matter. Wahid means God is one. Just right. these three words will bring this one. This is an incredible debate. I had this guy, this is Hadith professor, and uh, lengthy arguments with him. Of course, I was very tired uh, two days after two days symposium, sleepless nights. On the way going to another conference, I wanted to sleep in a hotel before the conference, few minutes, but the person who picked me up from airport, he was his uh, follower. He took me to a restaurant, not restaurant, like cafe, he was up in the second things. On the way, he was ready with camera, with everything. And uh, he was opposing number 19 on three major points. And he was lying in one of them. In the other two, he was wrong. But this one, he was uh, claiming, let me show you. This guy, he was chess. Yani saying... rahimi otantik yazıyorsunuz mm -hmm. ve otantik değerlendiriyorsunuz. Mm -hmm. Ve ben 19 sayıyorum. Mm -hmm. Vahid elifsiz de yazılıyor. Yani Show me Vahid. Kur'an-ı Kerim burada bana Sen Vahid bir tane elifli. Why you are edip? Bu, bugünkü kur, buradaki Kur'an'da yazılmıyor. Buradaki müsafte değil. Ve Ama buradaki... Bismillahirrahmanirrahim oradan aldınız dinle, saydınız dinle. abi. Çünkü eski. Okay. And then he, he challenged us. He says you are. Can you show me one manuscript? Resmi Osman means uh, the what manuscript is called uh, the basically official manuscript, Osmanic manuscript. Any a single one that has Wahid with Elif. With Elif, it makes nineteen. The numerical value of Wahid. Wow is six. Elif is one. Ha is eight. Dal is four. Add up to nineteen. In the mathematical system, it is incredible. And um, Therefore, he's challenging me that I said, no, I don't have any. Well, it was in my list. I exaggerated this issue because I thought that I need to go to Cairo, Moscow, Istanbul, and many other places, Tashkent and uh, Germany to look at the oldest manuscripts and compare them and find them. Therefore, in my mind, it was difficult because on internet, you cannot search easy. And I, I couldn't. And then, but I said, it must be with Elif, the oldest manuscripts. He, he challenged me, but well, he said, can you show me? No, nope. but I said, the number 19 is such a mathematical code. It proves beyond doubt this word of God, it correct, it has error correction function. And I said, the letter sought, for example, we have one proof that uh, in uh, chapter seven, verse 69, the word Bastatan is written, misspelled, and we predicted based on number 19, the frequency of Saad, uh, it was one more in today's manuscripts. Instead of 152, it was 153. Therefore, Dr. Rashad Khalifa, based on this number 19, and he suspected this one, he said, this is a misspelling. Bastatan in chapter seven, verse 69, must be written with seen, not with Saad.
In today's manuscript, you see sod over it a little scene, or it says yufra will be seen. It is pronounced as seen. It's lie. It's a mistake. And later, when I checked uh, first time, it was me who found it uh, a Tashkent copy. It's exactly like Dr. Rashid Khalifa predicted. It was written with seen, no sod. It's exactly according to the miracle of the Quran. Therefore, based on that, I said, this must be that. Guess what? A week later, we find this guy was pressing me and was accusing of doctoring the Quran. And then here it is. Watch. This is in Cairo region. It's written with Elif. He asked me what you find you find two dozen of them. Now this music may have copyright. I don't put a commercial on my YouTube, but unfortunately this music now will add copyright to this one. Uh, it, it will have some commercial for the owners of this music. Come on, edit music. This is Magnus in Foss, chapter 14, verse 38. It starts from here to here. This is here. This is France in library, nation library. Verse 12, 38 to verse 40. Or that one with the lift This is Berlin. Library. It starts from verse chapter 13, 14, to verse 17. It is one with Elif. This guy was telling us you are adding Elif in order to make it number 19. And it is. Chapter 18, verse 1 of Okay, I'm going to stop. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is obviously there's a few aspects that are, you know, being addressed with the code 19. But I was actually going to ask you, uh, so now Shabir Ali, you know, in Canada, he's talking about code 19. Did, did he have, I just had a couple questions about that. Did he ever contact you? Do you have any discussions with uh, Shabir Ali? Shabir Ali, what is he saying about code 19? He's, he's the first Sunni scholar that I know after Ahmad Didat in the mainstream that's supporting code 19. You don't know him? Uh, no, I remember. I, I, of course, I know his name. I, I don't know whether I discussed with him or not. I think he was uh, objecting code nineteen. No, he accepts code nineteen, but he wants it. He says that it works with the two false verses. Yeah, he, he's he's the sort in the fact. He's uh, yeah, he didn't get it because. But even that much, even that much is surprising. I've never seen mainstream Sunnis. Promote code 19. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes. Navid, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, I do hear you. Yeah, I said uh, I've never seen a mainstream Sunni support code 19. Uh, so for me, it was uh, surprising to see Shabir Ali. Uh, do that. I was just wondering if you talk to him or if you talk to any other kind of. Let me uh, see, Shabir Ali. Let me check internet. Yeah, right. just go go on Google and type Shabir Ali code nineteen. Well, I had an argument with him in the past, I believe. Shabir Ali, uh, Shabir Ali, Indian scholar. What is it? 
There are too yeah. many Shabir Ali. Yeah, I can give you the link. Yeah, let me send a let me send his link on code. Maybe a football manager, it comes. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Hold uh, on. Islam, let's say Islamic scholar. Okay, Shabir Ali. I see. Oh, oh, oh. he has a scary uh, look. His eyebrows are very like frown. I put it in the chat. I put his link in the chat. You can see that one. Okay, just... I see it. I see. I see him. Okay. Uh, this guy. This guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah. you can put his video yeah. on. He 19. talks very well. He he is a good talker, but he's uh, defending this uh, uh, these two added uh, statement in chapter nine is a falsifier. Yes, and, uh, he has I, problem with that because but, but, uh, yeah. So um, yeah, if you click on the link that I sent you in the chat. That one is where he's talking about code 19. You can share your screen. And he, he, it's interesting. He accepts all the other aspects of it, just not the two false verses. And I, I think maybe that's a political move because if he accepts the two false verses are out, then he's no longer, he's out at a, as a Sunni, he cannot even continue. Maybe that's a measured uh, decision. I don't know. Hi, all. Peace. Salam. Hi, Edip. Hi, Navid. Okay. Hi. Salam alaikum salam. Alaikum salam wa Uh Let me remove the pin. Okay. Nice to see you, Rilum. Go ahead. Hush, uh, welcome, Rilum. Where are you from? Uh, I live in Germany, actually. I'm a friend of Kerem Adigizel. Maybe you know him from Al Rahman. Okay. Kerem Adigizel, yeah. And we have also Rilum Abdul Khan, uh, Abdul Hamid Khan. Hazrat Leri is the ghost of Abdul Hamid. Uh, he was the a Turkish uh, Sultan dictator. Uh, I think he's a butter, so uh, maybe, you, you, maybe you can delete him, remove him. <laughs> he cannot talk. No, I don't want to do it to him. He may want to talk something. Uh, he wants to maybe cuss us, <laughs> say bad words. I want him to relieve himself. He's a poor guy. Usually yeah. they need they need to kind of uh, yell, scream, and say some publicity words, publicity, yeah. <laughs> or threaten my life by this way. Unfortunately, oh, yeah, they, they go to heaven. So, <laughs> Eddie, Eddie. So, uh, okay. So, I sent you the Shabir Ali video. He's discussing Code Nineteen. He's really good at the Trinity and the Christian stuff, but specifically Code Nineteen. So he's promoting this. He's the first person I've seen since uh, Ahmad Didat that's promoting Code 19 in the Sunni mainstream. And I'm wondering, are other Sunnis, uh, Sunni scholars or whatever reaching out to you? Is there growing interest in Code 19 or is it dying down again? What's going on? That's a good question. Actually, Edip, um, I wanted to tell you something. I wrote in the Wikipedia article um, on Quran code. Maybe I can show you. Oh, please do so. Hold on. Uh, let me. Uh, yeah, go share screen. Hold on. Let me give you the permission. To I can give you. Screen. I can give you the link, maybe. No, no, no. Share the screen if you want. Hold on. Uh, how can I allow record? Uh, remove. Make. Make co-host. Okay. Now you can do it. Uh, how can I share the screen with? Ah, there. there are okay. other people who are quiet here. Uh, Taiba and others. Ah. Go ahead. Cold. Yeah, I actually um, made this you, article. You made this? Yeah, and with other people who helped me, you know. Um, you can, Mashallah. You can hey, view the history. Eddie, Eddie, we know how ah. it says this claim has never been confirmed by any independent. Can we fix that? Can you get somebody to just confirm this? Let's go to some university and get this confirmed. <laughs> yeah, you can view the history. Um, yeah, here, read them. I okay, just... I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, look, look, look. It says, the, however, this claim has not been validated by any independent mathematical or scientific institute. How difficult would it be to get some analysis 
professional analysis on this? There was, uh, I have it in uh, Running Like Zebras, a professor of statistics. Mm. He has written whole chapter here. Can you uh, add this to here? Can we add this to the, the entry? Yeah, we should. I uh, And then give this book, Running Like Zebras, as a reference. Citation. The thing yes. is, like, um, it is very important for Wikipedia to have, like, a neutral uh, point of view. Um, so, basically, I cannot say, like, I, I would have liked to, like, say my own opinion that it's 100% mathematically yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. But it's you should have a no neutral point of view, like. That is a neutral point of view. That scientist, whatever, that guy is a neutral party. Oh, but, uh, listen, when we go to scientists uh, what this and that says there will be fewer than more there because a lot of bigots even among scientists i have in the beginning i have debate with some so-called mathematicians and scientists you will see how they are bigot without even studying it they reject it therefore don't think when because uh, they are institute mathematicians when it comes to religion and politics that it is very subjective Yes, yes, that's true. And here I cited to you, Adep. Um, Adep Yüksel, a Turkish Quranistic author and colleague of Rashid Khalifa, makes the following claims in his book 19 God Signatures. Yeah, okay. I yeah, wrote this thing. Okay, good. Yeah, it's but very I mean, good, you, you know. Can even, yeah. You can even cite Rashad's book himself. These are all, these are not new. These are all in the yes, original. Is Rashad's book there? Uh, in, it's not uh, even cited. Visual presentation. I have it right here. Yeah. yeah, I try to, but like for, for them, it's too, it's important to not cite primary sources to have like primary things, but you have to have secondary Other, sources. Yeah. And it's not that easy, you know, and because they well, are. This is, the, this is the book that's making the claim. This is the original. Yeah, yeah, it should be given. Rasha's book, in this case, I think the primary source, uh, you should give uh, that book link if there's link. Mm. Uh, find a link and please uh, give uh, some. I can uh, give you that. that too. Yeah, I actually put like the sources. I think and here. This one too. Here are the sources. Mod, um, My Khalifa. What this book? Computer oh. speaks God's message to the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, here yeah, the bibliography. Ed Bixel, Rashad Khalifa. Yeah, 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 yeah. And is there a, a running like zebras? Did you uh, put this one? No, actually not. Uh, uh, well, uh, you should uh, reference this one to running like zebras is all arguments on these 19 objections okay. and discussions. Beautiful book. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, wait, how can I stop it like this? This okay. is beautiful. Thank yeah. you very much. I didn't know that. Nice meeting you. Really. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Great effort. Mashallah. Mashallah. Yeah, I joined you before. Like there were some meetings before. Yeah. Hey, Rylam, how long have you been studying Code 19? Um, actually, since maybe 2015, 2016. Wow, so you were a child. Well, I was there, I think, 16, 17. Yeah, okay. got into it. Wow. It, there's a, there's a, I'm from Germany, and there's a German Quranistic website called alrahman.de. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had, like, meetings there, and we have, like, a community here. And I got to study like many things, you know. Yeah. I read things of Ede Buxer, Rulam Ahmed Parvez, Rashad Khalifa. Yeah, it's very interesting. And uh, what are you doing in uh, Germany? Can you tell, tell us about yourself a little bit? Introduce yourself? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm 24 years old. Uh, I currently study electrical engineering. Yeah, and I had like application interviews to work as a ho uh, to work in a home office, as an yeah, an IT things or writing texts, etc. Yeah, I'm now looking to forward to have a job in, in, here in Germany. Yeah. Are you originally Bosnian? Bosnian. Uh, my parents are from Kosovo. It's near Albania. So it's, yeah. Mashallah, mm. Albanian friend. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we have someone is uh, playing. Uh, Seven Nishanyan's uh, video. Uh, <laughs> Just delete them. <laughs> he, is a, he is a character. He is a Columbia University graduate, Turkish author, Armenian descent. He's very controversial in Turkey. He had to escape Turkey to Greece. Mm. And uh, he's, uh, he's a strong opponent of the government. And, uh, but at the same time, he's an atheist. 
we wanted to have a debate uh, in theology symposium at Middle East Technical University years ago. And uh, there were whole pe people came there to think, but there were people protesting him, feminists and uh, gays, because mm. he was, uh, he had very kind of bad words against feminists and gays. He's an atheist. And then <laughs> while protesting him, our whole debate discussion destroyed by the yeah. protesters. They made a lot of ruckus and a lot of noise. Here it is me with him. And I was trying to kind of calm them down. They wouldn't be calming down. And we gave up. <laughs> and I don't know why this guy is showing. Sevan Nishanya, Buyur Konush. Most likely he's a troll. Yeah, just, just okay. remove them. <laughs> yeah, we were not able to discuss much. Navid, nice to see you here. And uh, if you want, we can close this uh, program now. Uh, once in a while, we'll meet here. But uh, oh. save or you, Navid, you will uh, kind of time me. If I talk too much, say, please uh, let others talk. Uh, no, it's not, I think we all come here to hear you. So to listen to God you. Bless you, but um, and I am so glad to meet Rilum. In the past, I had met you. Yeah, but so you, you are a good, uh, mashallah. I I like. I just uh, my first uh, uh, impression of that article is beautiful. Of course, it is a beautiful effort because this is something we have to uh, spread the wanted, message. Yeah, absolutely. They wanted to hide. They they killed the guy. The world yeah. should know this because in order to silence him, they killed him. Mm. And uh, we, it is our duty, our duty to let the world know about this God's message to the world. Mashallah. God bless you. God bless you too. Navid, are you okay? What's going on? Well, I was talking with Suat Khalifa. Okay. You were supposed to get time. me in touch. You were supposed to get me in touch with her. <laughs> well, I told, but her phone, I think it changed, and now I lost the trace with Fat Khalifa. Okay. She, uh, I, I will try. Thank God I remembered. I will again uh, try to be in touch. With, uh, what I, was the I, latest with I, her? I'm surprised that you, you don't communicate with her. No, you were supposed to get me in touch. You never did, remember? Oh, well, my <laughs> gosh. That means you didn't follow up. You need to bother me. Call me. <laughs> I got a, I have a, a, someone asked me to ask you this. There's a group of people in the Tur in Turkey. They, they are submitters. They say they want to know well, how come Edip doesn't want to talk to us. Are you willing to talk with them? Who are they? They are submitter groups. Submit a group in uh, Turkey. Well, uh, I never uh, close my door to anyone. Uh, really. wanna, are you willing to have some discussions with them? If if so, I can set sure. that up. Of course. Why why I should be shy away from any yeah. people, especially good people like them. Excellent. No, no, it is a matter maybe of time of communication issues. Yeah. There's nothing intentional, and I do discuss with everyone. If they want to come right now, tell them to come right now. Maybe we have a few minutes establishing at least uh, communication. Let me try to get one of them on. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I see some of them uh, very kind of hostile to me, but I don't care really. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, no problem. Some, I, I can say that, Edip, I watched that uh, post in the submission Facebook group that uh, some of you, some of them call you Satan, actually. It's That's okay. so uh, bad. Yeah. No, it's like a Rashid they Khalifa don't know cult. About, you know? Uh, some of the stories they come in to believe, they don't know about the background before and after what happened. Of course, they yeah. They take it, some of the things uh, and... Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I mean, Rashad Khalifa is not a god, you know, and some of them yeah. take well, take them like it, holy. You know, the last week uh, with Rashad Khalifa, there was some unusual event happened. Just uh, within less than a week, uh, he was killed. Interesting, very unusual event. I loved it, and uh, th they have no idea they are supporting the hypocrites because they were exposed. They were uh, debating. Uh, uh, against me and Rashad mm. uh, made a major mistake and later apologized and regretted 
uh, ask forgiveness from God from that mistake. Yeah. But that time they were exposed. It was uh, like uh, verse uh, 22, 15, I think uh, there was, uh, no, 52. What yeah, I know. Uh, you had a debate with um, Rashad Please, Khalifa about uh, like not, uh, hydrogen was... atom, I think. Uh, hydrogen yeah, atom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God did not create hydrogen, the guy was saying. <laughs> uh, um, and uh, this was uh, uh, Mufidi. What Mufidi? Uh, what was his Unfortunately, name? Unfortunately, he's gone crazy currently. Well, he was they, after that debate. After Rashad was killed, he made up a lie against Rashad. He said in 19 May 1990. May 19. He, May 19. He, he was the one. Yeah. He, uh, Mush, uh, Nader, uh, Muhteşem, Muhteşem later who was exposed being an agent, yeah. and uh, Turkish or FBI agent. He was mm. not a Muslim, but he he was later un uncovered. Yeah. And uh, he was with him, and then Kehusro, another uh, unfortunate idiot, and uh, Douglas Brown, not very normal. And this, they started making up this lie. They followed his lie. This is yeah. uh, 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 this guy, Mufidi. What was Behruz Mufidi? He made up. And I know with Rashad, I was whole day from morning, evening, I would spend time discuss every issue with him. Yeah. And this guy came from California. Within a week over there, he made up this lie after just Rashad. I said, mm. you are lying. Rashad never said this. He made up a hadith. And then he yeah. promoted this one through this gang. He convinced them. And he forced Abdullah Eric to publish it in the Muslim perspective. It was published. I told Abdullah, I said, don't do that. He's lying. Mm. No, they, and because my debate with Rashad, they thought I was on the wrong side. And then this yeah. guy fooled them and they sent letters and uh, to tv stations they showed yeah. up they say the end of the world is end of, not the, world, end of yeah. the world Saudi arabia will be destroyed because of this russia yeah. khalifa made this prophecy may 1990 oh, i have a few questions for you uh, what happened was ali, was ali reza fazli there at the let, time? let him talk no no ali fazli was not there ali fazli did not involve with that lie and well, when then, was he at the masjid huh was he at the masjid no, he was not there that time. It was a crowded group, but uh, no, 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 but what he was he even involved with the community at that time, or he came later? No, no, he was involved in the community, but uh, only once a while in conferences he would give beautiful conferences. In our uh, two, twice he was uh, he gave a conference, and uh, what happened? Uh, and then Firuz escapes. The, after that day, when doesn't come, he moves all his family escapes. And look at this guy. And because of this guy, they said Edip is bad and stuff. Firuz is great guy. They followed him. And mm. this guy made up a lie and then escaped. And now they still continue the same thing. They don't know about the story. What happened with Rashad? What was my discussion? Yeah. What was before? Well, who is this guy? They follow like Abu Huraira. Absolutely, he was like Abu Huraira. He came the last moment of Rashad Khalifa. Mm. And then he, I didn't know. I was so gullible. I didn't know this guy was jealous of me. That what? was. Uh, right, 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 right. Was, um, was the guy, uh, who was the guy? And Firuz Karmali too joined him. Another. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, gullible person. Who's the. Who is the terrorist guy that joined? I forgot his name. Ah, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, Eric Thornwall. Do you remember Eric Thornwall? Eric Thornwall, of course I remember. He came from uh, Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he then they found out he is working for Saudi government, right? Something like that. I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, really? yeah, yeah. Rashad wow. announced it. He said we found his card. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, yeah, very interesting. That's why, ah. he, that's why he was removed, and Rashad that's why killed. he was killed. You know, they needed to have like yeah, information, were, uh, yeah, is, informants, they were doing, uh, a survey, conspiracy, they were doing, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, so, now I understand, yeah, yeah, okay. So, and what about Kathleen, Kathleen, uh, Kathleen Clark, you know, the woman who's making the videos, yeah, Rashad's videos. And that woman uh, later was exposed to being FBI agent by Tucson Weekly. She had worked uh, for FBI against Earth First Group 
and later she disappeared, of course. But wow. she was in Masjid, and Rashad wanted to kick her out multiple of the time. She would exit from the door and come in window. And I was gullible that time. I would say, Rashad, uh, forgive her. And she is kind of, yes, make mistakes and stuff. Yeah. But she was, uh, she was an agent. That means FBI was closely following. And uh, Muhteshem Erishan was another agent. I don't know whether you know him. Have you heard of him? Yeah, 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 yeah. Erishan. And so, yeah. he was the one who wanted to create a division between me and Rashad Khalifa. And uh, I didn't know. I thought he was an honest but uh, ignorant person. But later, he was also exposed to be an agent. He disappeared oh, also afterwards. Very interesting. So what happened? Where are all these people? How come nobody's left? <laughs> well, uh, they took over the match, the uh, Indian group who idolized Rashad Khalifa. And uh, they idolize like Mohammedans all the time. They talk about Rashad, Rashad, Allah, Rashad, God, yeah. Rashad, Quran, Rashad. And uh, all Rashad's writing, appendices, any kind of writing is like word of God. Even uh, uh, translate. The say, translation. They say even, the translation uh, is perfect. Even the errors, you know, spelling errors. They think <laughs> there is a divine. I mean, even, but, but, but Rashad himself said there's errors in there. Of course, um, but it is a, the history is repeating. I know I witnessed history. Yeah. I lived in a micro history of Islam in a very short time. I see what? Abu Huraira, I see Omar, I see Osman. What, uh, what happened? What happened with the lady in the last uh, conference? Um, uh, what's her? I'm drawing blank on the names. Uh, what's her name? You were debating with her. Yeah, from Monaco. Yeah, what was her name? Oh my gosh. On tip of my tongue. Yeah, she was, uh, she had uh, her own idiosyncratic ideas and stuff. She was a very strong, argumentative person. I liked her at once, but also I know that uh, she clashed with Rashad on some about Mehdi and about some stupid stuff she had. Mm. Therefore, people do not know what was the beginning of the debate. And uh, they even the videos you watch it. Uh, there are certain background. Certain Susan videos. Ray, Susan Ray, Susan Ray, yes. And what happened? That she's gone. Now, that's why my my question is: Where are all these people? They're all gone. You're the only one. You're the last man standing. What's going on? <laughs> I mean, well, you know, right. it's, it's a long time. You know, there. it's more than I think forty years, thirty five oh, years. Oh, it's been thirty so. years since nineteen ninety. Where is everybody? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are old now. You know. Interesting. No, it's not about being old. Even 10 years ago, even 15 years ago, they didn't have any activity. Yeah, they were they gone. disappeared. They yeah, were always they... gone from the beginning. Um, so this is kind of the environment. Uh, you saw this uh, Fra uh, Francine, the, the, the terrorist. That I, I just kick him. Wait, you I met just... him? Eric Tornwell? No, 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 no. The guy, the ultimately the person who... Oh, the guy him. who killed him. No. I don't remember him because there were people coming, going from Masjid. That time I didn't know possibility because there were some uh, people, uh, Sunnis would come to debate us and I would debate them. Mm. And there was one, a black person came, stayed there uh, for a while in one of the mobile homes. Rashad let him to stay there. And I think he was affiliated with them uh, according to the reports. I know yeah. him and uh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, in fact, I was uh, in Masjid. We were uh, after Isha prayer uh, nighttime. Me and Rashad was ready to leave, and then two police came. It was this, I think, Sunday evening, Sunday, and then uh, two police came. Told Rashad uh, they got some information uh, from uh, Utah, from Salt Lake City. They uh, arrested some people there. They found the, the diagrams of the Masjid the plans mm. of the masjid wow. and say, be careful. And they told Rashad uh, that I was hearing uh, there were two uh, police. I don't know whether they were FBI or local police, but most likely they were FBI. Yeah. And then uh, after that, uh, when they left, Rashad told me not to tell anyone in the community because they will be scared. He said, he recited a verse that Satan wants to scare people. And then, of course, I didn't tell anyone, but he had uh, told uh, 
Mahmoud Abib, and he had gotten later, I learned he had gotten a small the guy gun. gave him a gun. Yeah. And then uh, three gun, days yeah. later, three, three, four days later, in uh, I think Wednesday, on 30th of uh, January, uh, he was killed. But after that, when there was police around, uh, after when I went to Mesh that early morning, I found that police there. It is a crime uh, area. And then uh, when the TV stations, when journalists asked me, I said, well, a few nights before, two police came to Masha. They told that he was going to be killed, be careful. And that they denied, the police uh, chief denied this information. And I don't know whether there was miscommunication between police and FBI yeah. or whether they were in denial but uh, I, I do believe this is, let me tell you my conviction. I do believe that uh, United States gave his head to Saudi Arabia. And I do think that uh, the United States, uh, part of the police who knew about it, they turned uh, their head away. And you say they turned blind eye on it so that they will get away with the head of Rashad Khalifa because just a year before in Medina, they had gathered a conference about Salman Rushdie. Salman Rushdie uh, and Rushdie. Yeah, a fair, and from 38 countries, the religious le leaders of those countries, Sunni countries, participated. And uh, they claimed that Rashad and Rushdie both are apostate. Yeah. Yes, they this had a, fa a fatwa, yeah. Fatwa. This is the cover. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me pin myself so that I can show. This is the cover story of this uh, of the event. Um, this is the scholar Al Qaradawi there to Bin Baz, the leader. They say Rushdie and Rashad, both of them are apostate. Mm. This is the Turkish magazine, number one magazine of the time. Uh, it was like a Time magazine of Turkey. Yeah. You see it? Mm -hmm. And uh, this was uh, Rashad and me and a few other people next to him. This is John Spooner, Muhtashem, John Spooner, Edip Yüksel, Ramtin, and Rashad Khalifa. Three people, uh, four people here. Yeah. And um, just for people who are curious, in fact, I think I have these pages at the end of running like uh, 19. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Rilam, we have to talk, okay? We're going to be in contact. We can talk, inshallah. Of course, of okay. course. Uh, think... Communicate with each other. Exchange uh, phones, please. Yeah, of course. Okay. I'm going to leave if there is no question and no answer. No. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, God bless you. Uh, thank you, Adip. You can invite me next time, you know, like you have my number actually, I think. Yeah, yeah. I should I should have shared this one. Oh my gosh, I didn't share. Let me check whether you are on my WhatsApp group. Are you? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I'm in the Okay, list. if you receive some of the announcements, then uh, I let me, I will check, make sure. Next time I will share there, but this was very impromptu. Okay. Navid, God bless you. Nice meeting you here, my brother. Good Take to see care. you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll talk later, inshallah. Inshallah. Sinawa. Okay, I will get you in contact with the submitters, inshallah, in Turkey. They want to have discussions with you. They can contact me anytime. In fact, uh, I think, yeah, I don't know. Well, they can call me anytime and I will be ready to meet them. I never Excellent. die from meeting anyone. Goodness you sake. Still, you, you travel to Turkey these days? No, because uh, this guy... Uh, Tayyip Erdogan has more than uh, 20, I think recently uh, uh, about 30 cases against me, yeah. lawsuits that, because I'm critical of him, and then uh, recently I to, got a uh, prison maybe. term from the Turkish uh, government. Uh, yeah, yeah they, well, they will put them to, ja yeah, to, him, to jail or prison, you know, if he yeah. goes to Turkey. This is from Turkish consulate. They send me a letter. They say, you got uh, this many months, just one of them, this many months prison term, come to Turkey, go to prison, idiots. 
<laughs> he has 30 cases against me. In each of them, Recep Tayyip Erdogan next to it, it writes victim. Oh, man. Yeah, I will not go there un- unless uh, this government changes. Inshallah, it will change soon. They destroy yeah, Turkey. Okay, Salam Alaikum.